guys so in this video i want to give you a clear explanation on how you should do your accounting equation so guys accounting equation is very very simple the first step that you have to do number one you must be able to know what fall under asset please make sure that you know everything that is falling under assets for example you know that a vehicle is an asset equipment is an asset bank is an asset data is an asset and all those petty cash and all of those other examples make sure that you know them first so that it will be very very easy for you to identify what fall under assets okay then from there you must be able to know what fall under equity okay so under equity i want to emphasize this everything that fall under income statement all those income all those expenses they will fall under equity okay and we also have retained income and we also have a capital that fall under equity okay then our last part is gonna be a liability something like loan payable when we purchase something on credit to our supplier it will fall under liability okay so I did some example that I want to uh, guys to, to go through with it uh, so that you will understand accounting equation very very better. Okay, let's start with the first one. Okay, I'm gonna read the transition, then I record. Number one, they said Mr. J, the owner contributed a capital amount of 25,000 to start his business. So basically, when you are dealing with the sole trader, the first transition that they're going to give you is for capital remember capital is the money that we use to start what a business which means that well, before you do anything else you purchase and all those things you must start by contributing what a capital okay each and every transition that we are going to read guys make sure that you identify two component there is no way that a transition can have one component it must be at least two okay we read the first transaction is this one they said mr j contributed a capital amount of twenty five thousand. okay now we have to pick up two components the first component of course is capital okay he contributed a capital of how much twenty five thousand twenty five thousand is is cash guys which means that he contributed money which means that the bank is also going to be Part of the component that we identify, which means that we, we're gonna have capital, and number two, we're gonna have a bank. Okay, now we we are able to identify our two components. Now the second step is to record under our under our accounting equation. So how are we record, going to record them? First step, you what you have to know is that where does capital fall under of course under what equity okay let me just write capital here it's fall under equity and the second component is bank that we identify bank fall under what assets bank now we write our two components the second step now is what about the sign amount okay Yes, it's gonna be twenty five thousand this side, and it's also gonna be twenty five thousand. But guys, you have to indicate whether it's a decrease or it's an increase. You have to you have to show that in order for you to in the full marks. Okay, then let's check what happened to bank. Does the bank increase or decrease? Of course, the bank has do what increase. Remember, guys, our asset increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side of course we have created what our our bank because our bank is doing a did what increase because he contributed money to what to a business what about the equity account of course even the equity account is what has increased remember guys each and every transition that you do you have to make sure that when you said assets equals to equity plus liability is the same okay now let's verify our assets is twenty five thousand positive twenty five thousand 
is equal to 25,000 plus zero. Is it correct? Yes. 25,000 positive plus 25,000 positive is equal plus zero is equal to 25,000. They are equal. Asset is equal to owner's equity plus liability. Okay. Now let's go to number two. A new vehicle purchased in credit by amount of 6,500. Okay. What do we do now? We identify the two components first. Okay, the first component is a vehicle that we know that is an asset. The second one, how did uh, Mr. J purchase the vehicle? On credit, guys, not cash. On credit, which means that now as a company, they have a what? Liability. They owe someone because they take on credit. They didn't pay. They take on credit. Okay, our vehicle, we know that is an asset. Vehicle. Okay, and now the second part guys. Amount of 6,500. 6, is it increase or decrease? Okay, in other words, did we receive the vehicle or we take it out? Of course we receive, which means that it's going to be a plus. Because we are adding more vehicle that we, that we have before. Okay, then now we have to go to liability. The credit is either we call it creditors control or payable. Okay, let's just call it payable to make it easy. A payable. Now, uh, the next step is to write amount of 6,500. But we have to show, guys, whether it's an increase or decrease. Okay, it's going to be increased in this case. Why? It's showing that our liabilities has gone up. Remember, we haven't yet paid um, the company that we purchased this vehicle on credit, which means that we have to indicate that it has increased. Okay, if we have any other transaction that they state that they paid that amount of 6,500, which means that it's going to be a minus to show that we pay our debt, we no longer have a debt, we have to reduce what? Liability. Simple, guys. Very simple. Okay, now we are done with number two. Let's check number three. Mr. J business received amount of 5,000 from customer. Mr. J's business received cash, which means that the bank is affected because we receive the money from the bank. Okay, we know that the bank is an asset. Bank, we receive money, of course, it must be plus to show that our bank balance go up. Very simple. Okay, it's 5,000 plus 5,000. Where did we receive money from? From sales because it's custom. Which means that we receive it from sales. Where do we record sales, you guys? Remember, I said everything that fall under income statement is equity. Everything that fall under income statement. Remember, sales it is from income statement, which means that it's equity. Okay, we're gonna write our sales. Then amount. We're gonna say plus. 5,000, uh, 5, yes, 5,000. Why 5,000 plus? Because our sales amount go up because we sold more to what? To customer. Very simple. Remember I said principle, you have to verify that asset is equal to equity plus liability. When you add equity and liability, they must be equal with what? With assets. If you verify that and you find that is correct, uh, guys, I'm telling you, it's total. It's total. You have to make sure that you verify that. Okay? Then let's proceed to number 4. 720 from petty cash used to purchase a coffee and bread for staff member. Okay? So we have used 720 from petty cash. Petty cash is more like a bank. It's an asset. Okay? Okay, a petty cash. A petty cash. Okay, actually the petty cash, we're talking about a petty cash, we're talking about a small amount that we have that we can use it for to purchase a smaller items or to give our customers as a change. Okay, we call it a petty cash. It's a small amount. So we use amount of 720 to buy coffee and bread for, for staff members. What do we call this? We call them a refreshment. Okay, a refreshment. We record it under expense on income statement. 
This means that it's gonna fall under quit. Okay, we're gonna have refreshment of staff member or refreshment old. Okay, then where are we going to add? Where are we going to subtract? Now let's start with petty cash. Remember, 720 we take it from petty cash and we buy, which means that money goes out, which means that our assets is going down. <coughs> Sorry. Our assets is now going down because we take the money and purchase what? And purchase refreshment of bread and coffee, which means that it's going to be minus 720. Okay, <coughs> and this side is going to be minus 720 as well. Why? All income, you add them on the equity. All expense, you subtract them because they are going to do what? To reduce the profit that we are going to get. I hope it's clear this. Okay, now let's move to number five, the last one. Okay, Mr. J bought a new machine from KK supplier by 50,000 and granted 20% discount as it was cash payment. Okay, so this company noticed that because we pay amount, we are paying amount of 50,000 cash. They said no. Uh, this is our customer. We have to uh, grant this person a discount. Okay, so they said they give us a 20% discount. This means that the amount that we are going to pay in this case is not 50,000 but we have to subtract 20% from the amount that we are going to, um, to pay. Okay, uh, <coughs> let me calculate on my side. Uh, this means that we are not going to pay 100% but we are going to pay 80%. It's either you said 50,000 multiplied by 20% and the answer that you got you subtracted from 50,000. Okay, my thing is off. Okay, or you said 50,000 multiplied by 80%, 80%, then it's gonna give you a straight answer. Why 80%? We were supposed to pay 100%, but because of discount, we subtracted 20% from 100, and then we pay 80%. Okay, so I think the 20% of 50,000 is 10,000, which means that we are going to pay 40,000. Okay, which means that we bought a machine. Our machine, we are going to record it under assets because machine is an asset and we write, okay, and we write amount of plus 40,000 because we take out 10,000 discount because of this 20%. Okay, and after that, we bought it cash, which means that under assets again. We are going to record twice under assets again. We are going to say a bank and minus forty thousand. Okay, now your question might be: Does this make sense? Very makes sense, guys. We have two components, and all of them they fall under what asset? It happened. The first component is machine. It's an asset. The second component is bank because of cash. It's an asset, which means that all of them will to show them under what? Under assets. Just that you have to write a positive under a machine to show that we receive what machine. Our machine is going to, to increase. And under bank, we have to show what? A negative to show that we no longer have this 40,000 in our bank. It has been subtracted. It has been subtracted. So uh, that's it for this lesson, guys. The first things that we have to do, which is mostly important under in, uh, in accounting equation, please make sure that you know uh, what fall under assets, what fall under equity, what fall under liability. The rest, guys, you will hear them from the transaction. And the other thing that I want to emphasize, what you hear the business receive, know that there's a bank. Once you hear cash, there's a bank. Once you hear paid, there's a bank because money has been paid. Our bank must be affected. So you have to take note of that.
But once you see it, you hear those words, guys. Identify the bank, the first one. And the second one, identify the one that, that they are talking about. Then from there, the accounting equation, you're going to get sort of very, very uh, simple stuff. So I hope you enjoy this uh, 